Hello and welcome back to this edition of Bayou Time. Again, your host, Keith Weissite, licensed clinical social worker with Terrebonne Home Care. Very glad you're joining us. However you may be joining us, we appreciate it very, very much. And we love to come on air this time of year, tell you in the community about some wonderful festivals that you can go to. I can tell you, I know for years, the, the Chack Bay Gumbo Festival is one of those. I want to meet some of the people that have been a part of that. We might welcome Mr. Mike Uze, the Grand Marshal. Uh, thanks for joining us. Thank you all for having me. All right. And congratulations on being the Grand Marshal. That's awesome. Thank you. All right. It's an honor. There you go. Next to him, Ms. Janice Ordon, the Gumbo Queen. <laughs> Thank you for joining us, Ms. Janice. We appreciate it. Thank you. It's good to be here. All right. It's good to be the Queen, too, right? Yes. There you go. <laughs> Very good. Sitting next to her. Uh, Mr. Kobe Brignac, who is our gumbo king this year. Congratulations. Yeah, thanks for having us. Absolutely. So listen, man, this festival has been going on as long as I can remember and reason in 1968, right? Correct. Right. So it's been going on for a long, long time. This is one of the longest standing festivals we've had, certainly one in Chack Bay. Right. Yeah. When they first started, uh, started, it was at the Chack Bay School. Right. And basically it was mostly food they were serving. You had a few little games that they would play and all that. Right. Then as it grew, well, that's when they moved behind the church and all. Right. And then the church got small. And right. And now we got the new fairground, which we did uh, open up in the uh, year 2000. Right. And it's getting kind of small, too. Now. It, it's amazing <laughs> as we just keep outgrowing things. Like, right. And, and that's just because over the years, as it gets better and better, Ms. Janice, you've probably got some wonderful members over the years of the uh, That's the, for sure. The, when I first started, I went there and I said, I'm here. I don't know anything. Y'all tell me what you want me to do. Oh, my. <laughs> yeah. So that started me off, I think it was like in 69 or something like that. Oh, just the second year. <laughs> yeah. Tell me what you need me to do 54 exactly. years ago. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So, it, you know, we started off with. You know, we were serving gumbo in real bowls with real utensils and all that it kind of stuff. It took a really long time to clean. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and we gradually added, you know, added different foods, and then they started getting the bigger fairgrounds. And, right. And we finally moved into the new. But when you first started off, it was part, it was the Holy Name Society. They did a lot of the stuff, and then the farming. Once the farming group was organized then they did together and right then, it was the same people doing it you know right so then right. they said well let's just do one instead of having us to do right. twice. so do doing that combination right and kobe you probably uh, doing it as long as you can remember huh well actually i just started with the chad bay volunteer fire department probably five years ago okay and this is only my second year actually doing the gumbo festival uh they asked me last year to cook the gumbo and what, what a great honor. Yeah, it's like, an honor in a lot of ways, right? Correct. But when, you, when you, somebody in Chag Bay for the festival says you cook the gumbo, right. there's yeah. a level of respect there. I really didn't know what I was getting into, so we, we, we cook about <laughs> roughly 240 gallons over the weekend. 240 gallons. gallons. Yeah, that's, that's the, the starting number. If we got to cook more, we can. But basically about 240 gallons, but when they asked me to do it, it's been it's been a few years since COVID. We didn't have it, right? And uh, so I asked him well, who cooked the gumbo years ago, and he told me uh, Evan Plaisance. Okay. So I called him. I said, "Look, I need you to help me since this is my first year cooking it. Right. I want you to come back and I want you to show me what you did because I want to get it back to where it was a long time ago." Right. So he came. He cooked it for 15, 20 years. Okay. So he showed me uh, last year, and about a Sunday, he kind of turned the paddles over to me and said, "Okay, you got it." So. This to be the first year I do it by myself, so it's going to be little, interesting. A little solo trip this yeah. year. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Well, you know, it's interesting, uh, Ms. Janice, you mentioned the fact that uh, you do a whole lot less than you used to. But, you know, over the years, you kind of you get that honor. It's kind of like what, what he got from Mr. Plaisance. Being yeah. able to, he, Mr. Plaisance got to say, do this, do that. Mm -hmm. I got a story about Mr. Plaisance. Oh, all right. <laughs> oh, my. And bet he didn't know that was coming. Go ahead. <laughs> the first time he came to work with us you know, in the kitchen, and he's, somebody told him, you follow her and do whatever she tells you to do. Oh, my. So he did. <laughs> so he and I talked to his mother the next week, you know, what a pleasure it was to work with him. Yeah. She says, you don't remember, but you delivered him. 
I said, wow. No wonder we got along so <laughs> may, may you delivered him twice. Yes. Yes. You delivered him once, welcoming into yeah. the world. Yeah. And then you delivered him again yeah. into his orientation to the gumbo, gumbo festival. Mm-hmm. And now here he is delivering that, uh, exactly. the, passing the gumbo, if you yeah. passing the paddle, <laughs> if you will, uh, mm-hmm. over to Kobe. Uh, and so we just have a little bit of time left mm-hmm. in this first segment before we talk a lot more about what people can expect right. over in the next segment. But you mentioned something that last year was the best year ever. Right. So, Mr. Mike, I want to know why. Well, last last year, like I said, last year, everybody was getting over the COVID. Right. Everybody they were so was, ready to come back. So ready to come back. They wanted to do things. Right. Plus, the weather was so nice last year because when we get no rain, we, we, we have a good festival. Right. The rain messes up, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so I, we're hoping, we know God's listening. <laughs> right. We want him to have a wonderful time on the 13th, 14th, and 15th. We want to make sure that people know for the Gumbo Festival mm-hmm. down in Chack Bay that we got pretty weather. Right. That's right. And the people were spinning. They weren't holding back. Wow. <laughs> people, you know why? Because people weren't able to spend very much because yeah. nobody was working during COVID. So mm-hmm. everybody was holding on to their money. And uh, all of a sudden, people were like, oh, all right, we back at work. <laughs> we can go spend some money. <laughs> Uh, and again, giving back to the to Chack Bay, giving back to those organizations like the fire department, those mm-hmm. that really make a difference for that community makes a big difference. Now we got to talk about the very impressive request that was came through the fire department. Tell me what that was. Well, uh, this year for the Thibodeau Volunteer Fire Department Fair, they sell and serve a lot of different foods, and right. one of them is gumbo. Right. So they reached out to us and asked if I would cook the gumbo for them to serve at their festival. So we did. Right. We. How do you like that? I love the fact that he went with we. We yeah. did. You know, he <laughs> did and uh, cooked it. And so you know you've arrived when somebody from that food fest, huge food festival, says come and cook our gumbo. So if you're wanting some of that, we're going to put the flyer up and let you know how you can go out and get some. It is the Louisiana Gumbo Festival in Chack Bay. Uh, food, great entertainment, carnival rides, free admission, uh, 2023, a wonderful lineup, and I'll run through that. So things start off Friday, October the 13th. Uh, you can come out and get some gumbo then. Uh, we know about 240 gallons. 40 gallons of gumbo at least. At least. And uh, Kobe said he'll cook some more if you need him to. But from 6.30 to 9.30, Reese and his two-piece will be playing. From 10 o'clock to midnight, they had sna- they have Snapper and the Fish Sticks, and that will close off the entertainment for uh, Friday. On Saturday at noon, from noon to 2, Daryl Grow and the High Rolling Band will play from 2.30 to 4.30. Ryan Foray and 4A Tradition will be playing. 5 to 7, they have Miller Point. 7.30 to 9.30, good feeling. And 10 o'clock, closing off the night is uh, to me- till midnight is Kings of Neon. And then on Sunday, October the 15th, from noon to 1 will be Straight Hag, and the parade will be at 10.30 a.m. There's a live auction at 1 p.m., and then at 1.30 p.m., the Cane Breakers will be there, our wonderful band um, from some of the employees here. 1.30 to 3.30 th- will be the Cane Breakers, and then 4 o'clock to 6 o'clock, IP Bourgeois. And so if you want more information, as you can see right there on the bottom of the flyer, you can go to lagumbofest.com. A little bit of the lineup, uh, and the food is going to be outstanding. We know Kobe's going to be cooking it. Uh, but it's in a new place for the last 20 years or so, right? Right, right. Yeah. We've gotten to that. And so we got a few pictures of some of those things. Let's talk about how much better it is at this new place, Mr. Mike. Well, to start off with, you got a, a big pavilion. Right. you got the band, uh, the stage set up at the end of the pavilion, and everything's on a big cover with you know, cement and all that. Right. And so just really fantastic for the bands to be able to play. And look, for those bands, we got to have enough room for people to dance. Right? right. And there's a whole lot of dancing that goes on, I know. <laughs> right. Right there under that pavilion. Yeah, right. Uh, and we've got lots of room and places uh, out in the field. Uh, and then you can see how beautiful those grounds are. Um, and, uh, and making sure that there's plenty of room out there. Uh, a very family-oriented event. Uh, that we want people to be able to go out to, and so really excited about that. Right. Um, and so, again, last year we set a little bit of a standard coming <clears> out <throat> of COVID, really enjoying what happens. And so tell me what you're most looking forward to this year, Mr. Mike. Well, this year I'm, I'm hoping uh, that people come out right. and actually 
I'm hoping we do better than we did last year. That's always the goal, right? <laughs> right. So look, we, we, we want Kobe to do a better gumbo than last year, <laughs> right? right? Right. If that's possible. <laughs> but we want people to come out and, and spend some money and enjoy, enjoy the family, right. have a good time, and we want the weather to be nice, right? Right. 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 Miss Janice, how about you? What are we looking forward to? Uh, I just want to see all the people there. That's mm. the thing for me. It's been a change in for the last, for 20 years I was doing the potato salad. Oh my. You know, that's pretty much what I did that whole time. <laughs> and the most we ever did was 1100 pounds in a weekend. Oh, is that all? Yeah. <laughs> 1100 pounds. 1100. I can't imagine how many <laughs> eggs and potatoes that is. That was to, a to lot, boil and cook. A lot, <laughs> a lot. Wow. But it had some good help. Made yeah, some good of course. friends, you know. With Nobody it. makes 1,100 pounds of potato salad by themselves. No. <laughs> well, uh, it takes a community to I do know, that. that's right. Sure. And that's one of the things. Listen, I will tell you, I've been honored to be able to spend time in Chag Bay. I've been honored to be able to take care of patients and families, and, and certainly with Dr. Perez and with Tina Bear and their families, getting to know some of the people there. Mm-hmm. It, you know, if they think it's God's country anywhere else, I got news for them. <laughs> it's Chag Bay. <laughs> because of the way people treat each other. Right. And because of the way people help each other. Yeah. And that's one of the things. And so that's what you miss, right? Yeah. Being able to see your friends and hug somebody's yeah. neck and, and, and they uh, do a two-step with yes. somebody. Right. <laughs> Kobe, how about you? What are you looking forward to? Uh, mainly just for the community to come out and enjoy themselves. You know, being a member of the fire department, when we see members in our community, most of the time it's not in the best of times. It's a crisis. So, yeah, so just come out, have a good time, come in the gumbo kitchen. Come, if you want to come talk to me, if you want to come watch me cook gumbo, you want to come chop yeah, some onions? Yeah, come on, I got to <laughs> you know, start a pot. Uh, yeah, just come out and enjoy yourself. That's all. It's a time to come meet the firemen, you know, meet the community members and just have fun. I mean, right. they have rides with the kids. Right. Got a lot of great food, you know, jambalaya, uh, sauce pecans, pizzas, hamburgers, uh, everything. Fried fish. Fried fish was excellent last year. So, Lots uh, of stuff to buy. Yeah, just come out and, and have fun. That's all right. we want. That's the main thing we want. We want to, this is how we kind of give back to the community. Right. Yes, it's a fundraiser for the fire department. Right. But we want to do it for our community members to come out and enjoy themselves. I love it. One more time, uh, Aaron, put that back up. Let people know it's free admission. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, uh, Louisiana Gumbo Festival in Chack Bay. And uh, could not uh, be more excited. The Bon Terre Credit, Bon Terre Credit Stage is going to have lots of wonderful music for you to come out. Come out on Friday. Taste the gumbo for the first time. Come back on Saturday. Have it for lunch and supper. Come back on Sunday. Have it for lunch. <laughs> Uh, and then you get your fill of, of uh, Cody's, uh, how Kobe does his gumbo, which we appreciate it. <laughs> we thank you all so very much for coming on. Congratulations, King and Queen Thanks. of the Gumbo Fest. Very excited. Congratulations to the Grand Marshal. Wishing for great weather and a wonderful time for everyone. Well, Us thank too. Thanks so for having us. Right. So we appreciate it. All right, guys, that'll do it for this particular segment of Bayou Time. Don't go anywhere. A whole lot more right here on HTV.